Hi guys, welcome back to the Butterfly Effect podcast. Today we have news from The Wolf Among Us 2. Uh, we've been waiting for this game for quite a while now. The trailer dropped probably about two years ago, and it probably won't be about another three years till we actually play the game. But nonetheless, Deck 9, Telltale um, have given us some screenshots. Jack, we've got four screenshots to dissect here, so today we thought we would just go through them and kind of like depict them, see what we see maybe, build some theories potentially. So uh, I'll bring them on screen now, we should have one here. The magic of my editing powers, look at that, in the corner. There's your thumbnail right there. Um, Jack, first one, it looks like Big B, potentially in third person in like a kitchen here. What do you make, think we can make mm. from this one? I think of all the screenshots, this is going to be the only one that looks like it's in-game. Even the fact that you can see the classic Telltale cursor on the chair, and the fact that you've got the objective, investigate the crime scene. I'm curious as to know when in the game this is. Like, you know, in the trailer, he's talking it that he's, you know, he's obviously his anger management group. Yeah. Um, but you have the, the events play out where he obviously tails a suspect into a house, a big fight breaks out. I wonder if this is like from that, like from almost like a prologue or something, like towards the beginning of episode one, or whether this is in like the, you know, the real meat of the story, you know, where there's potentially been another murder or something like that. But can I just say across the board for all of these pictures, they do look really sharp, really good. And like the colors and just like the details and graphics, they've come quite away since the last one. No, of course, and we've been very vocal about how we're concerned that uh, if this game's going to be anything remotely like Expanse, we're going to be disappointed, so we are almost keeping our expectations not too out of hand, right? But I'm not going to lie, yeah. mate, I look at this picture and it brings back all those Wolf Among Us 1 vibes and I get really giddy and I'm probably like a kid who's going to let himself get disappointed again, but yeah, this photo is amazing. Yeah, like you said, investigate the crime scene, so... I bet you love that because it's instantly we're going to go back into Detective Big B, we're going to get all Sheriff Big B, and we're going to get to like solve crimes and stuff, going around the room finding clues. Yeah, we do have the cursor. The thing I noticed that fascinated me the most is, like you say, it's in game. So this has got to be an official camera angle like of gameplay here. And it looks like Wolf Among Us 2 is going to be in third person, mate, which excites me because. Do you remember The Walking Dead Telltale where we kind of always had the classic camera angles? Uh, up to probably about season three, I think. And then season four introduced where we're actually behind Clementine and we could free, ro free roam around locations like a lot better. And you could actually find collectibles mm. and stuff. It looks like now we're actually gonna be like behind Big B and we're gonna be able to walk around environments with him. And I don't know, like that excites me that we're gonna get kind of that level of flair and like the modernized Telltale touch on a Telltale Wolf Among Us game. Right, so we have the second picture, which I'll show now. Uh, so, honestly, there's very little I can really get out of this one, mate. Uh, because of the focus on Big B, I can't quite make out what Big B is looking rather angrily at, like in that funny expression there. It looks like it could be like a gold statue, almost reminds me of the one on Raywell's desk in Life is Strange. It could be Buffkin, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but I don't really have too much to comment on this one, mate. How about yourself? No, neither. I'm looking, I can't... Yeah, I can't see what that blurred out thing is on the right. Judging by Bigby's eyeline, though, he doesn't seem to be looking down. So, like, could it be, yeah, like you say, a buffkin or a toad or something along those lines? I'm not sure, but we'll just have to wait and see. Looks like he's outside as well. He's got his, like, sort of thick coat on. So, yeah, not much to read into that one. Yeah, probably the weakest of the lot. The third one's interesting, so, you know, we've looked heavily at the trailer, haven't we? And it looks like Big B is in this, like, peer group where he's speaking about anger management. Um, there's a poster in the background here that says, Living healthy, say no to drugs. So it might be one of those sort of, like, you know, groups where people speak about addiction, whether it's drugs or alcohol, anger management in Big B's case. So, uh, yeah, anything to take from this picture, Jack? Yeah, I think so. I think for me, the big question is like, how much does this anger management group or whatever they are, how much do they fit into the plot? You know, because obviously it's going to tail on for the back of season one. I think it's six months after the events, isn't it? He's clearly having anger management, or at least that's what the woman in the trailer alludes to. 
I'm just thinking, like, is this just going to be a separate part where, you know, Bigby's obviously going back? Could it be that he's retelling a story throughout the entire series? Could it be that these characters that we're looking at, whether it's the woman on the right in the orange or the guy on the left sitting in chair, whether they're actually involved in the crime, you know, further down the road? You know, we come to like them as people that we can talk to as Big B, but actually later on in the game, your choices sort of screw you over perhaps and they could be sort of the big bad, I don't know. That's a very good point. I never anticipated that, that it could be like a Westworld season one or a Saw 2 twist where one of the scenes is actually in a different timeline. So it might be that the game's already happened and he's talking about it in this peer group. So yeah, no, that is super interesting. And I think another strand which I really like about Wolf Among Us is like your relationship with Snow and how it can end quite varied. It, like you can choose to kind of be lawful and stay her way or you can still be chaotic and Snow will fall out with you. So it almost gives me this impression that maybe Big B is attending these groups to kind of like, you know, at maybe the request of Snow so they can get along and maybe he's trying to be a better person, which is why he's showing up to these groups because he actually cares about Fable Town. Uh, so that's the dynamic that could potentially happen. Another thing I wanted to mention is the character that we see in the background, this bold fellow in the suit. I don't know if it is or not, maybe a bit slimmer, um, weird to see him in a suit, but it reminds me a little bit, mate, of Johan the Butcher in the fourth episode of the first season. Oh yeah, that's actually quite a good point. Yeah, especially yeah, looking at the hairline. Yeah, yeah, it could be. I mean, I'd be surprised but you never know it's not you know it's not written out yeah and like often you see with these groups and stuff as well i mean it doesn't usually tie into like the alcohol the drug the anger management ones but people can go to these groups like just to talk if they've experienced loss or you know something wrong in their lives so it might be that like the effects of season one's really affected johan and maybe he showed up to this group but it's cool that we might potentially see him here because we've always complimented Wolf Among Us ability to recycle characters, you know, the prime example being Lily, the barmaid in season, you know, episode one, they bring her back as a character who's grieving. And I feel like that's really cool. So are they going to recycle characters from season one, which is one thing I really hoped for? Will Johan the Butcher, just someone who just appears in two measly episodes in two tiny scenes, is he going to get a big role to play? You know, we'll have to find out. Um, final one, lad. Again, not much to take from it, but it looks stunning. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of those Batman scenes where you've got Batman and Chief Gordon speaking on the rooftops. I don't know if there's anything you yeah. can kind of make of that, mate. Yes, I was, that's literally what I was going to say. I was like, it's giving me Telltale Batman vibes, mm. and it's just making me want to dive back into those games again, you know, while we wait for Wolf 2. But it's certainly the most picturesque. I mean, I've said it already, but I've mentioned it in the analysis for Season 1. The, the colours and just the general display of like these Wolf Among Us 2 games are so good. That sort of like neon noir thing that they've got. The way the purple like slowly sort of fades into like the pinks and yellows. Really, really good. And uh, always open for CS yeah, some nice rooftop scenes. We got it in season one, of course, didn't we? When we turned into the wolf and we was chasing after Georgie and uh, Vivian in the car. Yeah. Maybe something similar, I don't know. No, big time, yeah. Not much to take from it, but just that the art is going to look a lot nicer, and I love the effect there with the stars. But, um, guys, I mean, that is pretty much Jack and I's take on what we think the new screenshots could mean, the leaked ones. Uh, so please tell us in the comments what you think uh, we're going to get from this game based off of the pictures you've seen in today's video. Uh, but otherwise, uh, stay tuned to this channel, guys, because uh, Wolf Among Us, we're going to be playing the game when it comes out. We're going to be doing another analysis series on it. And if there's a nugget of news, we will do our best to cover it. Uh, Jack, anything else to mention there, mate? Yeah, also do take a look at our Wolf Among Us uh, playlist. We've got lots of videos there already, and we do have still some more in the pipeline as well. So go check that out. And yeah, thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.